Hello, I'm your TA for IB100 online. My name is Simon Parrish, and I'm glad to be teaching you this semester, and I thought I would just give you an um, introduction to the website. So the first thing is how to get there. I just go to Google and type in Moodle Life. First thing that comes up is our U of I Moodle. This is for life sciences specifically, and you can see all the courses that use Moodle. You want to go to the IB100 online. I was already logged in, but um, to log in, you'll use your net ID. That's the first part of your U of I email address. And you use your Active Directory password. Okay, and so once you get in, you'll see things a little bit differently than I do most of the time. Um, but I've switched it to students so I can see exactly what you see. So here's the course. It's separated. This bit at the top, these are uh, general resources that you can use all the time. You can see there's a, a question and answer forum here that someone's posted in. I haven't even read that yet. Um, that's a good resource. Um, also, textbook information. Um, I'll give you a separate video about textbook. Um, course schedule, you can click on here, but you can also see it up here to the side. You can see upcoming events. So there's a lot of, um, I wouldn't say repetitiveness. It's, uh, it's just you can find your answers in a lot of different places on here. So get to know the Moodle. Um, this first bit, called the orientation module, will be due um, by March 12th. And it's got a variety of things that you need to look at, but also things that you need to do. And the next module you'll get to during the week of March 11th to the 15th. Okay, so let's jump right in with the first assignment that you have to do. So you'll need to go to this orientation quiz. You can see here that it's, it's due by 11.55 uh, p.m. on Tuesday, March 12th. Okay, and so we've got everything listed that's due on Tuesday. And you can go over and see everything that's due on Wednesday, Wednesday by clicking there. But let's stick to Tuesday. So the first thing you do is this uh, orientation quiz. This is basically just a, a quiz to help you get in the, in the swing of things. It's to help you see what motions you have to go through. So I already started it. And you'll see that when you click an answer, let's say 5 is the answer here, you'll get a response right here. It tells you whether you were correct or not. And this is the, th these are the number of points. Um, and a lot of times Ed has actually put in uh, responses. So it doesn't just say incorrect here. It also gives you the reason why it's incorrect. Uh, so I just want to get you to the finish of the quiz and show you what happens. Oh, good job. All right, so I did the last one. I click Next. Submit all and finish. This is an important button. If you do all of this and, and you get everything correct, but you don't hit Submit, you're not going to get the points. So make sure you do that when you're doing quizzes. OK, so up here, this is a really nice feature of Moodle. We've got, um, we've got this way to, to navigate through the website, and this will always take you back to the beginning. Alright, so I want to find the next assignment I need to do. I can go to IB100 Online Academic Integrity Lesson. Um, this, is, uh, this is a lesson that uh, what we're trying to do here is teach you, uh, give you some guidelines about plagiarism. Because when you're working online, um, it's really easy to copy and paste. It's also really easy to read someone else's ideas and and just think, well, that's perfectly right. I'm just going to use that. Um, we're going to be uh, really watching 
for people that are just taking ideas from websites and and copying and pasting but also you know copying and pasting little bits and just changing a few words we don't want you to do that we want you to actually think about this we, we would much rather have a simplified version of course material that we know you've thought about and put together rather than something that uses big vocabulary and things like that so anyway this is the online academic integrity lesson you'll click here and go through that lesson answer questions as you go through um, this is the academic integrity pledge it's basically your online signature and that's everything that you have to do on Tuesday okay and then um, we'll get into some uh, more in-depth assignments starting on Wednesday so the first one you do this is getting to know your classmates and the next one you do on Wednesday is biology and you discussion forum so both of these are pretty similar you'll see you have an initial post due Wednesday and then you have replies to two classmates due at 2 p.m. on Friday okay so this is sort of a two-part and it's the same thing here this is a two-part assignment and this is to get you uh, working with your classmates. This will be, um, you know, since we're online, it's really important to try to uh, boost the interactions that you have with both the instructor and the other, cl your, your classmates. Um, so let me just show you some tips about doing these assignments. Okay, when you see an assignment, this is pretty, this is pretty typical of an assignment. Ed's really great about organizing these things, so he's got when the initial post is due, when the final post is due, up here in bold. Then he's got these learner objectives. These are the things that we have in mind when we're setting up this lesson. We want you to be able to do these things after you complete this assignment. All right, so you take a look at these different things, and you can see this one's hot link. So you can, so you can click on Initiate a Moodle Forum Discussion Topic, and it'll take you to this website that gives you a how-to. Okay, it shows you the steps that you'll have to take to make a post. And you'll actually want to look at this because um, sometimes when you're trying to do things like, like uh, embed an active web link or an image, uh, you might run into trouble if you just try to wing it. So it's actually worth looking at these things. It's really great that Ed has this here. Um, you know, he could just throw you to the wolves and make you figure it out on your own. But... Um, he's really made this a rich website, so take advantage of all these things. And here's something that's really, really important. Each assignment has a fantastic grading rubric. Far too few uh, professors go the distance and actually make this grading rubric for you for each assignment, but Ed has done it. So after you start to do the assignment, uh, after you've read it once, you can go to this grading rubric and you can see that he told you you needed to make a forum post and he's going to grade you on that forum post and you want to know how you're going to get the full points you come to this grading rubric and you can see that you had to it has to be at least 200 words to get the full points you'll lose points if you do less and it, and this rubric tells you exactly how many points you'll lose okay here's the number of points you get for putting in an active link um, proper citation format and then down here here's a big one reply to two classmates this is the second part of this assignment uh, you need to actually put some effort into this um, it's it's really easy to just uh, try to breeze through this as quickly as possible uh, I'm gonna I'm going to require for full points that you use complete sentences um, proper grammar um, writing uh, communication from through writing is so important for for anyone not just for biology not just for science not just for academia it's important throughout your life and so uh, I'm gonna be a real stickler on these replies to classmates that you actually um, take some time write full sentences and um, achieve something in the in the reply so make some sort of personal co co uh, connection or um, 
you know, put some thought into it, basically. Okay, so let's go back and, and finish looking at this assignment. So this is a good example of how an assignment will work. Um, you can see down here you've got the steps to complete this assignment. And yeah, so I think I'll stop, stop this video here. And you can see that we've gotten down to Wednesday. Um, the next video will be how to go through a lesson. And this is what you'll be doing on Friday. And this is really the core of what you'll be doing in this class. Th these lessons are, are sort of the lecture, the replacement for a lecture, this being an online class. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any suggestions about how to how I can make these videos better for you, um, feel free to send me an email. Um, and I look forward to interacting with you throughout this class.